always significant when it's first against second, a game that could have a big say in who eventually wins the title. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello everyone, welcome to the King Power Stadium where the weather is absolutely perfect for football. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leicester City facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number eight, Yuri. Well, the term wily customer is often overused in football, but I do think it applies to Jamie Vardy. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Four goals in the last three appearances, and he's been playing with great confidence. There's every chance he'll get another couple today. how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel is the keeper. Yuri Tiedemanns plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And beginning the game up front is Jamie Vardy. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And so the match is underway. This looks more than decent. The inside route looking promising. And a bit short with the clearance. Well, able to survive that attacking push. A City free kick forthcoming. Well, later in the game he might have seen yellow, but not at this early point. Yeah, but I'm with the referee. It's a foul, but no card. to call that a squandered opportunity Stuart well what a waste that is it's far too easy for the keeper he should have made him work harder there Castagna Leicester moving the ball with purpose a delivery towards the back post able to deal with the threat De Bruyne oh breezing past him so after that, a goal kick it'll be. And the story now confirmed, Spurs have got their man, Stuart. Well, I think he'll fit in well to their style of play. He's a skillful player, but the move will just bring out the best of him. It's a good signing for both him and the club. Vizca. Tremendous challenge. Foden. And the counter looks on here. Options available. He's in with a chance. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And didn't he just? Well, as you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And what about the finish? With such control and technique, that could have gone anywhere, but not with his skill. It's a great goal. And 
the boxes get us moving again. A swift reply required after the setback. And it's Gabriel Jesus. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Well, he knows he's on his last warning after that one. Well, I don't think it warranted a yellow card. He made a genuine attempt to play the ball there. Well, he had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. James Madison. Bertrand. Well, something has happened at one of the other venues. Let's get the up-to-date news from Alex. Yep, it was a penalty for Manchester United. And I think if he counted his blessings, because it's gone off the post and it's gone in. It's now 1-0 with 17 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Oh, showing excellent vision. And now in a dangerous position. A gift for any goalkeeper. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Tielemans. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Slipshod passing. Could be a chance to break here. And he's made headway. Can they keep it out? Well, they can keep possession of it now. And the keeper got there and comfortably. Really good interception. And a poor ball. Leicester showing good width here. And crossed in there. And it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Well, there you can see City haven't been able to control possession. But when they have had it, They've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Tielemans firing it towards goal, and the keeper more than equal to it. Vardy, well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And you don't want to lose possession there. And Laporte in the way. It is to be a throw-in. Well, the referee deciding to let the play flow, but now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him, and he's absolutely right to do so. Vardy. And it's gone over the line. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Leicester City facing Manchester City. Vardy. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Foden. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Well, getting very close to the half time interval. So far, so good for City. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance to this point? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here. Touched onto the woodwork. A deft clearance. And barring the door was Laporte. 
Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Robri. De Bruyne. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. De Bruyne. Can he finish? And now the goal the City fans wanted to see. It's hard to see them throwing this away. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, but how has he allowed that much time and space? doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Well, a second goal for them here. This looks promising. Well, nothing comes of it. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And off and running again. It really was spellbinding what we saw from City in the first half. So let's see how the second 45 plays out. Chalar Zeyunchu, given away by Leicester. And reading it absolutely superbly. Great pressure to win the ball back. Not all that convincing defensively. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Takes it on! Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Can someone get on the end of this? And it's gone behind for the corner. And now the delivery. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Manchester City taking on Leicester City. Holly! Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. And a fine tackle. It comes to nothing in the end. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. Playing it in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. He made it look simple, really. This might be ideal for the counter. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Good looking cross. And he's clear his lines. A chance for him on the flank. The delivery towards the back post. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? Ndidi. Madison. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position.
respectable free kick but that's top quality goalkeeping you've got to say good technique displayed well this would help them get back into the game deflected behind corner forthcoming who's going to get on the end of it Fofana he has time to play it over struggling to get it away and this situation could be dangerous corner given he's driven in the corner just the clearance that was called for and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation good save and he held on to it for good measure 20 minutes to go Jesus and he read it superbly well, the timing was perfect ball one Right, I believe something has changed at the Emirates. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a second goal for the Gunners. It's now 2-1 with 74 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. So getting close to the end of this one, and City pushing all the right buttons. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play, and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Tielemans. And Fernandinho comes up with the goods. Ndidi here's Tielemans it's a weighted pass smuggled away there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches Playing it in. Number six, Nathan Aki. And problem solved for now. Breaking at pace. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Are well, the keeper performing brilliantly? Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Corner kick played in. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. And we've entered the final five minutes. Harvey Barnes... Tremendous ball played through. Really good diving save. A change in the offing for City.
And over it comes. It comes to absolutely nothing. Really getting stuck in. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. And the flag has gone up. Well, he has to work a lot harder to stay on side there. He didn't read the situation at all. Well, the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Jesus. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. It needs an... Surely! And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Under pressure here. Applying vigorous pressure. And just offside, but by a whisker. My goodness. Ndidi Castagna now Ndidi real chance oh that's magnificent goalkeeping but now it grinds to a halt because the flag has been raised Foden and there goes the final whistle a real sense of feel good for City fans everywhere they take the three points from this game what did you make of it? well Derek they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game they defended well enough they dominated midfield and they created chances as well it was a great performance well, as is so often the case, Phil Foden did his talking out there on the pitch. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.